गुड आफ्टरनून चिल्ड्रन वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश क्लास इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस अबाउट द अपीयरेंस ऑफ द डॉग एंड इट्स कैरेक्टर इट्स बिहेवियर एंड इट्स लाइफ एंड आल्सो वी हैड लर्न अक्रॉस अबाउट द ब्लाइंड मैन इज एंड हिज लाइफस्टाइल एंड हिज रूटीन एंड आल्सो we came across about the village urchin who would trouble the blind man and also we have seen about the vendors at the market place who would gather near the blind man and at last we have seen that the old woman died and next what is there what options are there for the blind man to lead his life we have to see in this video welcome back again for the english class let me continue with a paragraph here the blind man lost the only hope he had the blind man lost the only home he had and the only person who cared for him in this world yes as the old woman died the blind man lost the only home he had and the only person who cared for him in this world the ribbon vendor suggested the ribbon vendor suggested here take this white tie tape here take this white tape he held a length of the white cord which he had been selling i will give this to you free of cost i will give this to you free of cost tie it to the door tie it to the door and let him lead you about if he is really so fond of you tie it to the door and let him lead you about if he is really fond of you so as the blind man was worried the ribbon vendor gives a cord a length of a ribbon and suggests him that tie that length of cord a uh, length of ribbon to the dog's neck and let the dog carry the old blind man let the dog lead the old blind man nine paragraph now next paragraph life for the dog took a new turn now life for the dog took a new turn now he came to take the place of the old woman he came to take the place of the old woman he lost his freedom completely the dog lost his freedom completely his world came to be circumscribed by the limits of the white cord which the ribbon vendor had spared so the dog's world his world came to be circumscribed came to be in one circle in one limit by the limits of the white cord which the ribbon vendor had spared he had to forget wholesale all his old life all his old hounds so the dog had to forget hosel all his old life all his old hounds see the meaning of hounds hound means familiar 
places as the dog had lost its freedom completely even he was supposed to forget his whole self in all his old life and all his familiar places he simply had to stay on forever at the end of that string when he saw other dogs friends or foes instinctively he sprang up tugging the string and this invariably earned him a kick from his master yes children as naturally whenever he would see the other dogs the dog naturally would instinctively suddenly it would jump near those dogs it would trouble the blind man so for this action the dog would get a kick from the blind man see when he saw other dogs friends or foes instinctively he sprang up tugging the string and this invariably earned him a kick from his master rascal want to trouble me rascal want to tumble me down have sense in a few days that dog learned to discipline his instinct and impulse so as it would get a kick if it would jump or if it if it would spring upon other dogs uh, the dog learned to discipline himself to control his actions to control his instinct and impulse he seems to take notice of other dogs even if they came up and growled at his side so now he learned to just to ignore the other dogs even though if they growled at him he lost his own orbit of movement and contact with his fellow creatures he lost his own orbit of movement and contact with his fellow creatures look at the meaning of orbit orbit it means the restricted path the restricted path so he lost the dog lost his own orbit of movement wherever he would go for rounds and wherever he would ramble about he lost everything and contact with his fellow in contact with his fellow creatures next paragraph children 10th paragraph to the extent of this loss his master gained he moved about as he had never moved in his life all day he was on his legs led by the dog with the staff in one hand and the dog leg in the other he moved out of his home a corner in a chaltri varana a few yards off the market he had moved in there after the old woman's death so now the blind man shifted from old woman's house to the chaltri corner a corner in the chaltri he started out early in the day he started out early in the day he found that he could triple his income 
by moving about instead of staying in one place. Now, as the blind man had got the dog, which could lead him all over the city, the blind man thought that he could trouble, triple, he could triple his income by moving about instead of sitting at one place. He moved down the Chowdhury Street. He heard people's voices. He stopped. He moved down the Chowdhury Street and wherever he heard people's voices, he stopped and held out his hands for, for arms and held out his hands for arms. Shops, schools, hospitals, he left nothing out. So, as, as the beggar started moving, led by the dog, he went everywhere. He went near the schools, near the hotels, near the hospitals. So, near the shops, and he left nothing out. He gave a tug when he wanted the dog to stop and shouted like a bullock driver when he wanted him to move on. So the dog was treated very badly by the blind man now. He gave a tug whenever he wanted it to stop and he would shout like a bullock driver whenever he wanted it to go on. He gave a tug when he wanted the dog to stop and shouted like a bullock driver when he wanted him to move on. The dog protected his feet from going into pits or stumping against steps or stones and took him up inch by inch on safe ground and steps. See, the dog is taking care of the blind man as if the old woman would take care of him earlier. The dog protected his feet from going into pits or stumping against steps or stones and took him up inch by inch, inch by inch on safe ground and steps. From this side, people gave coins and helped him. From this side, people gave coins and helped him. Help the blind man. Children gathered round him and gave him things to eat. A dog is essentially an active creature who punctuates his hectic rounds with well-defined periods of rest. Of course, a dog is essentially an active creature who punctuates his hectic rounds with well-defined periods of rest. Of course, dog is an active animal, but it also needs rest. So, it would rest. Uh, usually, dogs will rest and will be active on their routine life with well-planned period of rest as well as the working hours. See, a dog is essentially an active creature who punctuates its hectic rounds with well-defined periods of rest. But now this dog, but now this dog, henceforth to be known as tiger, henceforth to be known as tiger, had lost all rest. So, the dog who led the blind man 
had lost all his rest. He had rest only when the old man sat down somewhere. He had rest only when the old man sat down somewhere. At night, the old man slept with the cord turned around his finger. At night, the old man slept with the cord turned around his finger. I can't take chances with you, he said. I can't take chances with you, he said. A great desire to earn more money than ever before seized his master so that he felt any resting, waste of any resting, a waste of opportunity and the dog had to be continuously on his feet. So see here now. I can't take chances with you, he said. The blind man said. A great desire to earn more money than ever before seized his master. The blind man became greedy now. He wanted to earn more and more money. So that he left any restraint. So, so that he felt any resting a waste of opportunity. So the blind man started thinking that if he could rest, that would be a waste of opportunity. So continuously he started walking. He started earning the money. And the dog had to be continuously on his feet. Sometimes his legs refused to move. Sometimes his legs refused to move. But if he slowed down even slightly, his master goaded him on fiercely with his staff. Yes, if the dog slowed down for a little also, the master would beat him with the stick, give him a goaded him on fiercely with his stuff. The dog whined and groaned under his thrust. The dog whined and groaned under his thrust. Don't whine, you rascal. Don't I give you your food? Don't mind, you rascal. Don't I give you your food? You want to love, do you? So the blind man, when beaten by the master, the dog groaned under his thrust. So on hearing this, the blind man scores the dog and he swore, the, the blind man swore at the dog. The dog lumbered up and down and round and round the marketplace on slow steps tied down to the blind tyrant. The dog lumbered up and down and round and round the marketplace on slow steps tied down to the blind tyrant. Long after traffic at the market ceased, you could hear the night stamp by the far off wail of the tired dog. It lost its original appearance. As the whole day dog would be walking and leading the blind man, it would be tired. So it lost its original appearance. Dog had lost its original appearance. As months rolled on, as months
months rolled on, bones stuck up at his haunches, bones stuck up at his haunches and ribs were relieved through his fading coat and ribs were relieved through his fading coat. It shows that the dog became thin and the dog has lost its complete appearance as it was earlier. So that is how the dog has lost its complete freedom now. We have to see what happens to the dog in the next video. Thank you. Thank you for watching.